Welcome to Smart Optometry Academy. Today, we will discuss about collasion in details. Stay with us till the end. What is collasion? Collasion is a chronic non-infective granulomatous inflammation of the meibomian gland also called a tarsal cyst or meibomian cyst. From the definition three things need to be understood. Collasion is associated with meibomian gland. Collasion is non-infective and Collasion is granulomatous inflammation. The location of meibomian gland is tarsal plate that in the middle of the eyelid. So, location of collasion will be in the middle of the eyelids, not in the lid margin unlike blepharitis and sty. Non-infective means there won't be any infection, so there will be no pain or pus formation. Granulomatous inflammation means, it occurs due to formation of granuloma by the immune system of our body to prevent leakage of lipid from blocked meibomian gland. How does collasion occurs? At first a mild grade infection occurs in meibomian gland by organisms of very low virulence. This mild grade infection leads to blockage of the meibomian gland and the secretion or lipid of meibomian gland can't pass that build up within the gland. Continuous secretion of lipids leads to leakage from meibomian gland to surrounding tissues. Immune cells gather around the leaked lipid and form a granuloma to prevent leakage, creating the characteristic firm non-painful lump of a collasion. What are the causes of collasion formation? 1. Chronic conjunctivitis. Persistent inflammation in the eye and eyelids from chronic infections like trachoma can cause scarring or blockage of the meibomian ducts, leading to collasion. 2. Blepharitis. Chronic eyelid inflammation in blepharitis can obstruct the meibomian glands, resulting in gland secretion buildup and collasion formation. 3. Children and young adults. Higher oil gland activity in younger individuals can lead to more frequent blockages in the meibomian glands, increasing the risk of collasion. 4. Uncontrolled diabetes mellitus. Diabetes can impair immune responses and increase glandular secretion thickness, making it easier for meibomian glands to become blocked. 5. Errors of refraction. Frequent eye rubbing to improve vision in uncorrected refractive errors can lead to chronic eyelid irritation and inflammation, causing meibomian duct obstruction and subsequent collasion formation. What are the clinical features of collasion? Symptoms of collasion. Painless, nodular swelling of the eyelid. Feeling of mild heaviness. Drooping of the eyelid. Signs of collasion. 1. A small pea-sized nodular swelling. Generally, away from the lid margin. It is firm, tense and non-tender. It usually points on the conjunctival side and rarely in skin side. 2. No signs of inflammation. No pain. No local temperature raises. No pus formation. 3. The skin. The skin over the swelling is normal. The skin is free from swelling. For on eversion of eyelid. The tarsal conjunctiva underneath the nodule is velvety red or purple and slightly elevated. 5. Numbers and locations. Frequently, multiple collasion may be seen involving one or more eyelids. What happens if a collasion is left untreated? 1. Spontaneous resolution. If left untreated, in rare cases a collasion may resolve on its own without any treatment. 2. Growth and vision problems. Collasion may slowly grow larger. A large collasion on the upper eyelid can press on the cornea, leading to blurred vision due to induced astigmatism. 3. Burst and granulation tissue. Occasionally, an untreated collasion may rupture on the inner conjunctival side creating a mass of granulation tissue that can look like a small, raised bump. 4. Secondary infection. If infected, an untreated collasion may develop into an internal hordeolum, causing redness, pain, and swelling. 5. Calcification. In rare cases, a chronic collasion can undergo calcification, forming a hard lump. 6. Malignant transformation. Very rarely, especially in older adults, an untreated collasion can lead to malignancy, potentially transforming into a meibomian gland carcinoma. What is treatment of collasion? 
treatment of collation can be divided into four categories. 1. Conservative treatment. 2. Intralesional steroid injection. 3. Incision and curettage. 4. Diathermy. Now, conservative treatment. For small, recent, and soft collation, conservative treatment may promote self-resolution. Conservative treatment includes A hot fomentation Hot fomentation softens the clogged oil within the meibomian gland, encouraging natural drainage of the collation and reducing swelling. Soak a clean cloth in warm, but not hot, water, wring out excess water, and gently press it against the eyelid over the collation for about 10 to 15 minutes. This should be done three to four times daily. B. Topical antibiotic eye drops. Antibiotic eye drops like ciprofloxacin or moxifloxin, three to four times daily are prescribed to prevent bacterial infection in and around the collagen. Although collagen is typically not caused by infection, using antibiotics can prevent secondary bacterial infection, which can complicate healing and cause discomfort. C. Oral anti inflammatory drugs. Inflammatory drugs like ibuprofen or naproxen two times daily after meal can reduce inflammation and discomfort. These medications work systemically to decrease swelling and alleviate discomfort, supporting the natural healing process. 2. Intralesional steroid injection. The injection of a long-acting steroid, usually triamcinolone, helps reduce inflammation within the collagen, promoting its resolution. This method is often effective for smaller, softer collagen and is frequently attempted before surgical intervention. This method has about a 50% success rate. 3. Incision and curettage. This is the most effective treatment for larger or persistent collagen. Procedure? After local anesthesia, a small vertical incision is made on the conjunctival side to avoid visible scarring and protect nearby ducts. The contents are then removed using a collagen scoop, and the cavity is often cauterized to prevent recurrence. After care, antibiotic ointment is applied, and the eye is padded for 12 hours, followed by antibiotics, hot fomentation, and anti-inflammatory medications for 3 to 4 days. 4. Diathermy Diathermy is a technique that uses controlled heat to treat collagen. The heat helps reduce the lesion by coagulating tissue within the collagen, reducing its size and relieving symptoms. Diathermy is preferred for treating collagen near the eyelid margin, as it uses controlled heat to effectively target and treat the lesion. Check our other videos of ocular diseases in description link. If you found these video helpful, make sure to subscribe to Smart Optometry to study optometry smartly with us. Hit the bell icon to stay updated with more videos on eye health and optometry topics. Thank you for watching and see you next time.